Day 17, My Big Mouth. Why do I answer before the question is even asked? Why do I feel compelled to say something when I don't even know what to say? I did it again today. Jesus took James, John, and me up to the top of the mountain, and he was transfigured before our eyes. His clothes dazzled brighter than the sun. Seeing Moses and Elijah speaking with him was just breathtaking. Here in front of our very own eyes were the three greatest men of all Israel. Moses, the deliverer, who had given us the law of God. Elijah, the prophet, who had called down fire and brought our nation back to God. And Jesus, our soon coming king. I felt like someone asked me, how should we celebrate these three pillars of our faith, the law, the prophets, and the king. Of course, no one was actually asking me anything, but since I didn't know what to say, I felt compelled to comment. When I glanced at James and John, they were like teenagers, frightened by what they thought might come out of my mouth, yet still mischievously excited to hear it. I blurted out, Rabbi, this is awesome. We will build three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. James and John were aghast. They shook their heads in shame and tried not to smile as I considered the implications of what I had just said. At that moment, a cloud enveloped us and a voice that shook the mountain knocked us to the ground. This is my beloved son. Hear him. The cloud lifted Moses and Elijah were gone, and only Jesus was with us. It was then I began to understand that Moses, Elijah, and Jesus were not equally important. Moses had given us the law, which revealed our need for God. Elijah and the prophets had brought us back to God. But Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus is much greater than Moses or Elijah. And because Jesus is the embodiment of grace and truth, grace is much greater than the law.